which stands for Best Match 25. BM25 is a ranking function used by search engines to rank matching documents according to their relevance to a given search query. It is based on the probabilistic retrieval model and is an improved version of the earlier TFIDF model, which stands for term frequency inverse document frequency. Let's understand the key components of BM25. First, we have term frequency, abbreviated as TF. This measures how often a term appears in a document. The more frequently a term appears, the more relevant the document is considered to be. Next is inverse document frequency, or IDF. This measures how important a term is. Terms that appear in many documents are considered less important than terms that appear in fewer documents. And finally, there's document length normalization. This adjusts for the length of the document. Longer documents have a higher chance of containing more terms. So this normalization helps to balance the relevance score. Now let's look at the BM25 formula. The formula for BM25 is the sum from i equals one to n of the inverse document frequency of each query term q sub i multiplied by the fraction where the numerator is the term frequency of q sub i in document d times k sub one plus one and the denominator is the term frequency of q sub i in document d plus k sub one times the quantity one minus b plus b times the length of document d divided by the average document length. In this formula, d represents the document. q is the query. q sub i is the ith term in the query. f of q sub i comma d is the term frequency of q sub i in document d. The vertical bars around d represent the length of document d in words. Avdol is the average document length in the collection. K sub 1 and B are parameters that control the impact of term frequency and document length normalization, respectively. Typically, K sub 1 is set between 1.2 and 2.0, and B is set to 0.75. Let's walk through a simplified example to understand how BM25 works in practice. Imagine we have a small collection of three documents. Document 1, the cat sat on the mat. Document 2, the dog played in the garden. Document 3, the cat and dog played together. And our search query is cat dog. Let's calculate the BM25 score for document three with respect to this query. First, we calculate the IDF for cat and dog. Cat appears in two out of three documents, so its IDF is relatively low. Dog appears in two out of three documents, so its IDF is also relatively low. Next, we calculate the term frequencies. In document three, cat appears once, so its TF is one. In document three, dog appears once, so its TF is one. For document length normalization, document three has six words, and let's say the average document length is five. Using typical values of K sub one equals 1.5 and B equals 0.75, we can calculate the normalization factor. When we put all these components together using the BM25 formula, we get a relevance score for document three. We would go through the same process for documents one and two, and then rank all three documents based on their BM25 scores. BM25 is widely used in information retrieval systems due to its effectiveness in ranking documents based on their relevance to a search query. Here are some applications and advantages of BM25. Search engines. BM25 powers many modern search engines, helping users find the most relevant documents. Digital libraries. It helps quickly locate relevant research papers and books. Enterprise search. Companies use it to search through their internal documents and knowledge bases. The advantages of BM25 include simple yet effective. It achieves good performance with a relatively simple formula. Tunable parameters. It allows for fine tuning through the K sub one and B parameters better than TFIDF. It addresses the limitations of TFIDF by better handling term saturation and document length. In conclusion, BM25 is a powerful ranking function that builds on the foundations of TFIDF, incorporating term frequency, inverse document frequency, and document length normalization. It remains a standard benchmark in information retrieval and continues to be widely used in search systems despite the emergence of newer machine learning-based approaches. Thank you for watching this explanation of BM25. I hope you now have a better understanding of how search engines determine which documents are most relevant to your queries.